Welcome to the Thursday edition of the Fringe News with Reverend Jeff. Tonight's actually full of decent tubes and a video at the end that you just won't want to miss, so here goes nothing. Starting off the crypto news tonight is this new Bigfoot video I happened to come across today. For once, the video is neither shaky nor blurry, and you can see that there's something moving behind the trees. From the looks of it, whatever it is appears to be walking on two legs. I'll pass this one along for the breakdown, but in the meantime, check out youtube.com slash there out there com to see the rest of the video. Next up is this awesome fan video of Bigfoot Land. This family took a trip to the museum just to have a look around and were nice enough to film it and upload it for everyone else to see. Not much in the way of evidence that we haven't seen before, but there are lots and lots of very cool displays. Check the description for a link to the video. Now this news story has all the things we don't like about the media coverage on Bigfoot, alluding to it as a hoax, a media diversion when nothing else is going on, but the residents in this part of the Blue Mountains don't find anything funny about it at all. They believe they are hearing Bigfoot calling out from the darkness. Again, see the description for a link to the video. And wrapping up the crypto news is this footage of a Texas unidentified animal. A local taxidermist has frozen the carcass of an animal he can't identify. After 20 years in the business, he's never seen such a creature and has no idea what to call it. For now, they're just calling it a chupacabra. You can check out the video for yourself at youtube.com slash wildanimals040. Kicking off the out of this world news tonight is this very odd video of what appears to be a helicopter. But wait, why have the blades stopped on the helicopter? Just how is it managing to stay in the air if not creating lift from the rotors? Is this some sort of alien technology or a secret anti-gravity device? Only time will tell, but you can see the video at youtube.com slash evenstar517. Now next up is the video investigation of a possible UFO crash in the Antarctic. Just why would there be tanks hanging out in the open in such an unforgiving place? Is this a military base nearby? But that still doesn't explain the odd activity going on. Check out youtube.com slash Monic Simon to see the full investigation. And finishing up the UFO news tonight is this strange craft recorded from an airline over Jamaica. This was just supposed to be some scenic video for a feature video later on, but this fast moving craft is what they caught. No telling exactly what it is, but one thing is for sure, the skies are not empty, and that thing was really moving. Check out youtube.com slash being H-U-R-D to see the original clip. Now in tonight's paranormal spotlight is Haunting Season Paranormal Investigations. Their YouTube channel is chock full of great paranormal content with a few hours of things to keep you busy. The hosts are personal and their videos look to be top notch. This is one group I'll be keeping my eye on in the future. Check out youtube.com slash HSPI to see all their investigations. And finally, in the WTF is that footage, is this alien looking bug. At first glance, it looks like some quarter of a caterpillar until you realize it only has six legs and drags the rest of its body behind it. So tonight, I'll leave you with this footage of this weird creature. Your Operation Condor message of the night is, the battery is dead. The battery is dead. Thanks for joining me for the Fringe News number 17. I'm Reverend Jeff, and may the Squatch be with you. What the hell is this thing? got like six legs in the front and it drags its fat ass the rest of the way. Oh gee, even the smallest obstacles are met with triumph, eventually. <laughs>